Hello, my name is Sean Stevens. I'm the Vice President for Melbourne Business Network, and I have the honour today of chatting with one of our amazing members, Lily Grecker, who's the co-founder and creative director of MEA. I hope I've said that correctly, Lily. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining us today. Lily, you have very kindly offered to sponsor our Melbourne Business Network Award for Social Enterprise this year. So tell me a little bit about MEA. Thank you so much for having me, Sean. And you did definitely pronounce MEA correctly. <laughs> <laughs> it, um, it's, it means my in Italian. Um, oh, okay. In case you're wondering, and, and yes, it's an interesting spelling. So when you first look at it, because then you've got four letters, so you kind of think, how do you actually pronounce those four letters with M-I-E-R? Is it my? I get that a lot. Or <laughs> is it my E? Um, but yes, it's me A. Yeah. Yeah, brilliant. <laughs> but um, in terms of, of us, um, we're, we're six and a half years old, Sean, and um, I, I truly believe that um, the best way to help close a poverty gap is through children's education. And the reason is because if we could find a way for them to break the poverty cycle, then they'll be able to be less dependent on the government. Um, and as a result, government funding or where that may be can go into other sectors that are, um, are required by con our economy and our, our world, which is, could be in healthcare, et cetera. So um, that was kind of the ethos of our thought pattern to begin with. And so we created a business that literally circulates around that. And today, MIA's business um, service corporate offices, government and hotels with six different products and services and all of the profits that we touch to service the six different areas goes towards sponsoring children in Australia with the necessities to go to school. So we partnered with um, Smith Family and, um, and all of our subscription products such as our weekly flowers for the offices or our care um, plant maintenance or our fresh milks and, and, and fresh fruits because they are ongoing and, um, and weekly. We know exactly how much comes in. We know exactly how much um, is required to sponsor children. So any of our subscription services, we go um, to sponsor children with the Smith family with the necessities to go to school. Um, whereas our gifts and our workshops or our people engagement activations or our hamper products, um, because it's quite volatile and it's not ongoing, um, we support other initiatives within the Smith family for those children to stay in school. So kind of that's, that's me in a nutshell. <laughs> <laughs> in a nutshell, that sounds amazing. That's a big nutshell. That's an incredible amount to have achieved in a six year business um, life. That's amazing, Lily. Thank you for sharing that with us. So I was keen to understand um, your connection to social enterprise. I think you've explained a little bit, but what made you decide to get involved with the Social Enterprise Award? Yeah, well, for us, it's so, because we are not a charity, um, we are a for-profit um, business and our business, however, is, um, is all geared towards fixing or strategizing to try and solve a social problem. And so we found that... Um, being able to be recognized is really super important. If we want to be able to get work within the business sector that we're trying to go after, which is corporate offices, government and hotels. And so um, we found that in our six years, once you're recognized and once you actually do what you say you do um, and you get that um, accolade, it's easier for other businesses who are sitting on the fence to jump off and actually support you because you are a reputable business. I think that's very true. So many of our previous winners have gone on to have incredible successes and have actually had um, said back to them that, you know, I could see that you've been recognized. I can see you've been acknowledged across Melbourne, across Victoria. So I was keen to learn more about what you do. So what would you say to somebody who's considering applying, considering nominating, but actually thinking, oh, I'm putting it in the too hard basket? Yeah, no, I would definitely say that if you're wanting to be able to grow your business and service um, corporates or service businesses that have a corporate social responsibility um, body or emphasis in, in that industry, it's critical that you actually get on board and get recognized for being awarded because that gives the confirmation and the credit 
that these businesses need in order to be able to adopt you into their supply chain. I think that's really good advice. Lily, thank you so much for taking the time to speak with me today. We're delighted to have you on board as our sponsor this year. So we really appreciate your support. And if you think you're a worthy recipient of this award, of the Social Enterprise Award for Melbourne Business Network for 2020, then please get in touch. Check out our website at www.melbournebusinessnetwork.org.au or mbn.org.au or look, check out the awards page. And if you've got any questions at all, please get in contact. And we can't wait to welcome you as part of our awards process. Thank and Lily, thank you very much. We'll see you soon. Thank you.